shop my stash we have our shopping cart ready with its little coffee cup it's obviously iced coffee because that's all we drink here in this household so we're gonna start with our palettes we use for the week and then we'll go through all of our base products so let's start off with the Michaela pot too it's not fat it's pot I don't know how to I don't know how to um, pronounce anything anymore in my life, so. I used this palette quite a few times. I used it once to make a four look, one palette video. Very nice. I've used the XX Revolution, the Matrix palette twice this week. Open sesame, here we go. This palette is so cute and very pigmented. I love it. Glad I bought this thing. Then we have the oh, Mar uh, Mar Marte palette. I can't pronounce that right. Anyway, if you're wondering what that means, it means death in Spanish. Look how that, that's a gorgeous. And we use the Vita palette, the other half. I finally have both parts, so life, death, makes sense. So here's what Vita looks on the inside. Very nice. I have a, a pretty good dip on Mexicana because that's like a very good red. And then the only palette I had in here that I didn't use was the Delightful Dahlia. So, um, I think we'll just keep this out. It's a weed palette. It would be like used in like an add-on. So we'll keep that out. I did not use my single shadow and Kami Crush. I think I got bored of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna finally put this back up. I need to do a new Shop My Stash video. I haven't done one for this month. Or last month, I think, I don't know. So we have two glitters in here. We have Aspect from Shot Cosmetics. And we have Bale Fire, also from Strat. So we we'll keep these in here to use base products. So we're going to put all these palettes back in our stash. Okay, so starting the back, we have the Michaela Part 2 Highlight Palette. Um, this is a definite new favorite and it is really messy. So, uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be forever messy because that's a good gosh has to paint the artist to keep clean. So, yeah. I love all three shades. All three shades work on me, and that's very nice. I love it. Um, trying to decide if I want to keep this out for round two. Yeah, you know what? We're going to keep this out for round two. So I like it that much. And we have the e.l.f. Putty, putty blush, and it's in the shade Tahiti. Let me find the shade, yeah, Tahiti. It's a nice blush. And I did have out the e.l.f. putty bronzer, but it was too light, so I put it back into my stash and got out the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer. Perfect. I uh, was out in the sun twice, and now I'm a shade or two darker than what I was, so now things don't want to work. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay, I did use two different eyeliners this week. Let me find them. I got one from the other. I basically used two different blues. I used the Juvia's Royal Blue and then ColourPop DTLA. I still don't know what DTLA means, but I used these two blues. Love it. It's like a vibrant dark blue and like just a dark blue. I've been here for a minute. Just now that I like black eyeliners, blue eyeliners, and purple eyeliners are my jam. <laughs> Mascara, the Supernatural for a Melt Cosmetics. I don't like this like I thought I did, apparently. Still using the L'Oreal Mascara Base. I'm working on using up this NARS eyeliner. So let's see what's in here. We have the Patrick Ta for Brows Lamination Gel, shade clear, keeping this out. Yeah. Oh, it's upside down. Mine Crime Bushy Brows. This is their pomade and a pencil. I'm going to put this back up. 
this stuff is thick, so be careful. Coming out with some heckin' dark brows. Put these two because this can just leave these to the dirty. There we go. So then we have the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. I'm keeping this out for this week. And it's just it's just a base. It has a, a light color to it, but dries down quick. So like you won't even notice. Because it's a very light color deposit. And we have our NYX Glitter Glue. You can see we're going places with this. Good thing I bought a backup. So, yay. So, foundation. Let's see. Hunter Beauty Foundation Stick. It's in the shade Toasted Coconut 240N. I used this. And then I also mixed it in with the KVD Good Apple Foundation, which I've almost used up. The Milk Makeup Flex Concealer, shade Fair and New. I use this quite a bit. Look at that usage. Good stuff. The Al Dewey Coconut Setting Mist. This was nice to use. The sprayer's a little rough on it, though. We have our Huda Beauty. It is their Water Jelly Primer. This is like that Essence. Oh. Jelly water jelly primer I just got. These are all my project pan items. So lips. Let's go over what lip products we used this week. So we did use the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Trap. We used this once this week. And then we wore I wore this one today. It's the NYX Shine Loud. And it's in the shade Global Citizen. It's just like a um glossy lipstick but this does last all day i love this and want more shades i actually really like this way better than what i thought i would and then i think oh yeah i used the red rum this week from jeffrey star it's not gonna tell you the name I'll let you read it red rum is what it is i'm trying to decide was that all in the lips that i wore this week i feel like there was one more i wore one, two, three. What the heck was the other one? Must have been this one. The Superstay Vinyl Ink Maybelline Lipstick. This is a shiny, it's it's a glossy matte lip. Love this. It's like this. I need more brands to make glossy lips like matte. Like those three I currently have. Because I would wear those all the time. I wouldn't wear normal matte lipsticks again, really. So that's all I used out of my little bucket here of lipsticks I have for suggest. This is this is a lip suggestion box to myself right here in this corner. <laughs> it's like I'm suggesting to myself, hey, you should probably use this, you know. Beauty, Too Faced, Born This Way, Ethereal Setting Powder, good stuff, good stuff. And then we have the Jewair, Jewair, however you want to pronounce it. Is a radiant translucent illuminating setting powder. I love this stuff. I'm actually going to keep this out. So we've gone through everything in here. So let's pick out some items to use for the week. I'm in my chair. All right. So primer. This is what I was talking about. This Essence Fix and Last Jelly Primer. It's like your Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. The same thing. This is just cheaper. Okay, so I think let's pull out primer wise. Hmm. Let's go ahead and pull out our rare beauty. I think to buy the full size of this it is her pore diffusion primer. We're gonna pull this out. And then foundation. Let's go ahead and use. Let's use one of my older foundations, which is this Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. I'm gonna pull this out. You can tell I've used this a lot, just not recently. So we're gonna pull this out. And the concealer. Mm. I 
find our toys over there. Dior. Let's go ahead and use our D now. One we haven't used for a minute. Okay, we're going to use the Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer. It's in the shade 1.20C. Yeah. So, setting powder, we're going to pull out our Urban Decay All Nighter Press Setting Powder. I'm going to pull out this one and the other one. Because the other one, I can do the under my eyes and stuff, but I can't use it for the full face. So, that's where this comes in. Okay. I love this stuff. I will always have this in my collection. Mainly because this darkens your makeup by like a shade. And this is a little too light for me. So, perfect. I don't need a finishing powder. I have one out. And then, bronzer. What's... Let's go ahead and use a powder bronzer. And I'm going to use a powder blush too, but I don't want to use any of my singles from here or from here. My dirty sponges, ignore those. Those are where they reside because if not, the cat will get them. So, move our shopping cart up here. And what we want. We'll get to the face palette. So I kept that highlight palette out. Let's go ahead and pull a neutral highlighter. And we're just, let's go with the Jaclyn Hill Ice. So let me open that up. It's a little mini one. It was on sale, so like, why not? Look how gorgeous that was. First still is. So we're going to pull that out to use. Face palettes. Are, I want to use... The Patrick Star, this is the bronze. It's medium trio. So let's open it up. I just about dropped it. And I think one, at least one of these shades is going to work for me. I think it's either going to be this shade or this shade. Because I am, I like a shade or two dark. So we're going to pull this out. And then we're also going to pull out his blush quad. Which is in very that. Go ahead. Show you. It was very cute. So I can use that and then go over it with that, which I got it on my hand from opening. So that's for the face palettes. Setting spray. Let's pull out Cover Up X. The rose quartz. I haven't used this one for a bit, so let's pull this one out to use. Oh, and this goodie drawer, so I don't need a brow gel. Scare primer. We do want an eyebrow pencil, so let's go with this color pop. We got makeup by Mario. Let's do our makeup by Mario. It's in the shade Honey Honey Bu Brunette. 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 <laughs> my selection. Oh my gosh. I did not pass any spelling anything's ever in my lifetime. So just so you know, my mom even had me write words down a hundred times and I would still go in and like think and fail. So there's that. Don't need an eye primer. Mascara. Let's do the Bite Beauty Mascara. Let's see, it's called Upswing. We're gonna use Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. So let's use that. Put some work on there. <clears throat> see our single shadows. Let's see what one is calling to us. dream rose garden let's pull out rose garden that's that so now let's go over here and pick out some palettes so 
I do kind of want to use a palette I haven't used for Morph in a while. And then I do want to get a ColourPop palette, I think. Let's see here. Morph. So, I have a lot of Morphs, just so we all know. It's going to be hard. It's all dusty up here. I don't know why I'm always over here. Always. Mm. So we have 35i Icy Fantasy. I haven't used this for a bit. Oh, my cat is attacking my foot. Ooh, yeah. Let's use Icy Fantasy for Morph. Ow, Pharma, that hurts. Hey, quit. Fudger. I call these guys furry box, so I don't know if you can see the F word on here. So there's that. I'm thinking about a neutral palette, so maybe open sesame. Why is that so hard to open? <laughs> I know I can open this. I had it open before. There we go. So we have this tart like a neutral mauve palette. Dang. Do I want to pull this? I need to start using my neutral palettes more often. So I can use the Tartlet Full Bloom. Or we can use... And there's Bare Necessities. Bare Necessities. Kind of a similar, but it has a black shade. Mm. Let's pull Bare Necessities from ColourPop. Okay. So let's pull some new palettes. Alright. So I did just get the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palettes in the mail. So I have the crystal. These were hard to find. This one right here especially is really hard to find. Just gonna throw that one out there. It's real hard to find. Look at that center. It's supposed to be like highlight eyeshadow. That's gorgeous. And we have the Zodiac Love Signs. And I'm surprised she didn't use these when I bought them from her. So I was like, that's exciting. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And we have the original Zodiac too, also in good condition. So that's even more better. But I already have two really big palettes out, so do I need another big palette? That's the question. Mm. So I got those two big palettes out, right? And I have a small palette out already. So let's go with smaller palette, I think. What is this one? So Fly. Ooh, okay, so we're going to go with So Fly. And those two big palettes I pulled. Because then I got that other small palette to use. So I think that is our palettes for the week. I know, I have all these new palettes and so I'm just going to pick four. So let's go over and put everything up. We're feeling light shadow this week. Okay. At first, for a second, I didn't realize, I thought it stopped recording. So I was like, um, am I still recording? I please, I hope so. <laughs> okay, so let's go over this so you see it better, 35 I. I see fantasy. Look at those beautiful shades. As I proceed to almost drop it on the floor. Then we have a neutral palette, Bare Necessities from Colourpop. With our So Fly Colourpop palette. Look at some of those shifty shades though. And then the Delightful Dahlia for round two. Because we didn't use her the first time. Oh no. Well, does that count? Oops. 
put that in there. So that's our palettes for the week. Setting spray. Put that in there. Foundation. I was like, did I want to pick a foundation? I could have sworn I did. Mascara. <laughs> Brow pencil. Blush. Bronzer. Setting powder. We're going to set the setting powder in there because my cats will run away with that. I got plenty of room in there for all that. There's more shadow. Okay, and I ran away with that yet. So yeah, that is my weekly shop my stash this week. Let me know. What did you pick out? What things are you still using? What are you still rotating? Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.